Hello guys, it's Glamit here and today I'm going to be covering how to beat the Death Star Empire Galactic Challenge. For this, the feats are to win with a full squad of Imperial Troopers, to win with one light side and one dark side character surviving, to win after removing 400% turn meter, and to complete battle. As you can see in my first video now, uh, we used Iden Troopers. My Iden is gear 8 and my Iden has no Zeta. The most important thing for this is to bring Stark and to bring Death Trooper. You want Death Trooper to be slightly slower than Stark and the reason is you want to hit all the staggers and then you want to follow up the AoE and then no one will have turn meter and the rest of it is pretty simple. If you are really struggling you can use the event special. I targeted Krennic but it's perfectly fine to take out a short trooper with that if you are struggling to make it through their protection. Um, overall though you should have no issues getting max crate as long as you have a gear 8 or over Iden, especially with the Zeta. Um, Magma Trooper will also get you the feet for turn meter removal here. Next up we'll have another clip and in this one I'll show you how to beat this mission with standard Imperial Troopers. Now bear in mind I do have high relics for everyone apart from Dark Trooper who is gear 11. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You just they won't take a turn, as long as you have a fast Gideon. For those of you who do not have a well geared Imperial Trooper team, the first method may be easier for you. However, as long as you have Dark Trooper, at least a gear 10 or 11, and at least a couple of stars on him, eventually you'll rack up enough damage to one shot them as you can see here. In the next clip I'll be showing you how to beat the one light side and one dark side surviving character on the team feet. For this, I have gone with gas lead with fives, thrawn, and then honestly, you, honestly you can use anyone. You don't have to use thrawn. You don't have to use Padme. You don't have to use Yoda. I like to just use um, gas and at least one of the clones. In this case, fives, and it's pretty straightforward. Fives um, will not take any health based damage until gas is sitting down, and gas will be taunting the entire time he's standing. This makes getting this kind of feat done reasonably easy because. Yeah, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Um, now, if you don't have gas, keep on watching the video because I've got another example of some teams you can use. Um, however, I would say if you have gas, use gas here. Um, as long as you've got them a relic um, and mod them for high protection, you should honestly have no issues. And if you're struggling a little bit, you can switch fires for Rex and make Rex very fast. The reason for this is you can then... The method I used to win this battle was to go into Merciless and firstly I just wanted to ability block everyone. I just didn't want anyone doing an AoE and killing off Han as he's the only light side character in this team. If you can, use the event special to kill one of them. However, be warned, like you see in this clip, they can use the event special against you. If you have Mara Jade, this would probably be easier. However, you can see here, I'm just passing turns back to Palpatine and doing a mass stun. Um, in the end, as long as Han lives, it doesn't really matter. And as soon as Death Troop is dead, and if you have Krennic stunned, you can't really go wrong. Let me know in the comments. Did you max out your crate this time? If not, what crate did you get to? And is it what you normally get to? What did you improve? Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.